Hi, I'm Colette G, Relationship Specialist, Coach, and Keynote Speaker. Today, I'm going to give you three pieces of advice, but before I really get into that, you know, I just want to give you the topic. We're talking about unhealthy relationships versus healthy relationships and how to know the difference. So I'm going to give you three pieces of advice. One, how to recognize when you're in a healthy relationship. Well, healthy relationships, obviously, they feel good. You feel good about yourself. You feel good about your partner, the relationship. You feel free, liberated. You feel like you can be who you are. The second, unhealthy relationships. You feel stuck, uh, like you can't really be yourself, like you're walking around on eggshells, like you can't uh, breathe. Um, you're frightened. You're scared. You feel alone. Um, so now that you know some of the differences, and they're not all because there's many, but this is a short video here and I'll give you more at a later time. So what do you do if you're in an unhealthy relationship? Well, you leave. And let me tell you why. I was in an unhealthy relationship. I was with a man who physically beat me, who emotionally and mentally abused me in ways that I don't even understand how I wound up in this place. I was first isolated, then alone, taken from my family, my friends, um, physically hurt. Uh, I, I was ashamed to tell anybody what was happening. And then when I did, I, I just didn't even know what to do. Um, my children were really little, so I didn't want to take my children away and break up our family. But then that they were being exposed to this abuse. So obviously, that just that's not healthy. Um, when you begin to compromise yourself, and when I talk about yourself, I mean your self-love, your self-respect, your self-worth for the sake of a relationship, it's time to go. You have to leave. And leaving is a hard thing to do, so sometimes it means reaching out to a friend and telling somebody what's happening in your life and sharing that with someone that you really trust and that you can talk to, you know, calling the 1-800 numbers that are out there for domestic violence, abuse, sexual assaults, things like that. Sometimes even go into your local authority and talking to someone and telling them what's going on in your life. There is help out there and you don't have to take it. Thank you for listening.